In this video, we'll write the balanced equation for C2H6 plus O2 gives us a CO2 plus H2O. This is a combustion reaction. We have a hydrocarbon plus oxygen, and in the products, we get carbon dioxide and water. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms in the reactants. We end up with, in our products, one carbon, two hydrogens, two oxygens, don't forget this one here, we have one more, so plus one, three oxygen atoms. I like to leave the oxygen atoms till last when I balance combustion reactions. That in general makes it a lot easier. Why don't we start by balancing the carbons? We could put a two in front of the CO2. We have one times two, that gives us two carbon atoms, so they're balanced. The two, it applies to everything here though. So let's update our oxygens. We have two times two, that's the four plus the one oxygen in water. Now we have five oxygen atoms. Let's again, leave the oxygen until last, let's balance the hydrogens. If we put a three in front of the H2O, we'd have two times three. That would give us six hydrogens and we have to update the oxygens again since they've changed. We have two times two, that gives us four plus three times the one, Three. So now we have seven. And this is kind of complicated. How do we balance the seven and the two? When you're dealing with combustion reactions and you're dealing with oxygen, you can actually just use a fraction to balance the equation. So two times something is going to give me seven, and that would balance the equation. Two times seven over two, when we multiply the twos cancel out, we end up with seven. So we're going to put seven over two is our coefficient. And now this equation is balanced. Some teachers are fine with the fractions, others want to have a whole number. So if you have a teacher who wants a whole number, it's pretty easy to fix. We can double everything here, all of the coefficients, multiply by two, and that'll get rid of the fraction. So we have two times the one here, that's two for a coefficient, two times seven over two, that equals seven, two times two is four, and two times three, that's six. So let me clean this up and put the whole numbers in for this reaction. So these would be the whole number coefficients for this balanced equation, C2H6 plus O2. So a few things to remember. One, make sure you count all of the oxygen atoms. Two, leave oxygens till last when you're balancing. And finally, if you have an odd number like we did at the end, you can use a fraction to get a whole number. So that's it. That's the balanced equation for C2H6 plus O2, ethane plus oxygen gas. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.